high. So I'm not sure if it's my one year transitioning anniversary or what, but I've become very, very frustrated with transitioning back to natural hair just in the last week or two. Today I decided to go to Goodness Grocery in Smyrna, Georgia and pick up a few items to try some new things. Um, I was thinking maybe my old Aussie Moist and other products were just not working for me because I know as you move along from transition fully to um, natural hair, your hair changes and most likely you will need to change products as well. So um, my hair was feeling very dirty today and I've been wanting to try the Giovanni line. So I picked up the Tea Tree Triple Treat Invigorating Shampoo. And this is what it looks like. It says it's for all tights, contains organic oils of cooling peppermint, conditioning rosemary, and clarifying eucalyptus. This is an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. And this was about six or seven dollars. Good News Grocery is a small chain similar to Whole Foods, but they don't carry certain things like fresh meat. And I didn't really see too many too many fruits there but they do carry a lot of dry goods um, mostly uh, shampoos conditioners soaps natural oils things of that nature and they are so much cheaper than Whole Foods so if you're in the Georgia area Kennesaw Marietta Woodstock Smyrna um, be sure to stop by there it's on Atlanta Road and you can find them online so I love this shampoo it um, definitely had the tingling peppermint effect on my scalp it makes my hair feel really clean and it does not contain any sulfates so that's what I like about it and it also says alleviates dry flaking scalp with organic tea tree botanicals um, it has a tea tree medicinal smell which is okay because I don't really mind it too much and I didn't need an, a lot to um, make my hair feel clean I think I squeezed about three little dime size um, globs in my hand and that was enough to do all of my hair and I also picked up this I never saw this product before it's called beautiful curls curl activating shea butter leave-in conditioner for curly and kinky hair and that's what the uh, bottle looks like and I picked this up of course because it has shea butter in it and it's certified fair trade shea butter. This is 12 ounces and this was about I want to say ten dollars or less and I liked how this felt on my hand and I automatically knew that because of the creamy consistency that it was going to moisturize my hair because usually when you use natural products on your skin they also moisturize your hair just the same so I like this they also have a conditioner and a shampoo which I did not purchase I needed a leave-in conditioner and because it has shea butter I figured why don't I pick this up it's only a few bucks just to give it a try so I do like it um, I still feel like I need uh, something else like some type of curly custard this says that it um, activates your curls but because my hair is transitioning still and I don't very really have too much um, natural curl going on, I think it's about a fourth way down. This is where my curls stop and the rest of it is perm still. I really don't need it to activate my curl because I still have to find a way to curl the rest of my hair. And I've been meaning to purchase the flexi rods to see how that's going to look, but I haven't done so. So... For the time being, I'm just doing two stranded twists or braid outs or something of that nature. I have my hair in four little puffs right now because I am tired, as you can see, and I don't know what I want to do with my hair. Last night, I twisted my hair in probably about 12 to 14 big twists, and I just tied them up, put a scarf on, and over the course of the day, of course, it swelled up, and I, I really like that style but it felt so dry by the time I came home. So I don't know if I'm having porosity issues or what, but I need to get something. Speaking of that, tomorrow in Buckhead at the Whole Foods located off of uh, West Paces, they are hosting a Jane Carter 
um, meet and greet as well as I think they'll probably have some type of discounted um, pricing on her products for Jane Carter. I don't know if I mentioned the name Jane Carter. So I haven't used any of her items yet and I'm hoping that she has some type of curly curly custard, some type of moisturizing cream that I can get a sample of and see if I like it. Um, so that's it for now. I'm having a little bit of frustration and I'm sure any naturals out there that have transitioned from relaxed to natural have shared my pain. Um, it's just a little difficult finding items that you you like and then your hair changes and you need to find something else. So I'm still on my journey. I'm not going to turn back. Uh, I definitely I'm not going to go back to using a perm. Um, I've had natural hair for most of my life, but the only thing different this time is that I'm not applying heat to it every day as I was before. Before I used to use the hot comb on the stove application and then I moved to the hot comb and ceramic oven. Then I upgraded into the flat iron. So now I'm trying to use no heat as long as possible because I have a bra strap length gold by August, which is my wedding. And right now, I think my hair is about here. So um, hopefully, I can make it another couple of inches over the next five months. And if not, I will be happy with whatever results I get. I just want to retain the length that I already have and avoid breakage and anything like that. So once I get my dryness issue under control, um, I think I'll be good to go. I think I want to get one of those beautiful hair steamers. I've been really um, contemplating getting one of those, and I don't know why I haven't purchased one. I was hoping to win one, wink, wink, but I haven't, um, so I think I'll just have to break down and buy one myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good night.